Hello my family, I found this amazing review of Harry's Memoirs Pair from Vicky Pauline, a social justice activist writing for the Times of Israel about Harry's Memoirs Pair. My family, I love it. I love it so much that people finally have heard Harry's story from Harry himself in Harry's own words and people are calling out the royal family for the pain that they have put both Harry and Meghan through. And I loved this review, and I'm sure you will too. Now allow me to share with you this amazing review of Harry's memoir spare. And I'm happy that all the way up to Israel, people are reading. Harry's memoir, Spare. It shows the influence, the power that Harry truly has and that Harry truly possesses. My family, here's how the article reads, my family. And I quote, by Vicky Pauline, a social justice activist. And I quote, a few years ago, when the controversy between Prince Harry, his wife Meghan Markle, and the royals first began, my gut told me that the prince and Meghan were being victimized by the royal family. The manipulations used by the press was horrendous. Very, very true. 100%. My family, you must understand one thing here. Who are the ones in power in this story? The ones who are the power, the influence, the money, the machinery, as Megan called it, was the royal family, was senior members of the farm. They were the ones who had that invincible contract with the UK media. And they, senior royals, aligned themselves with the UK media to cause Harry and Meghan so much pain, especially Meghan, because Meghan, in this case, was and is and has always been the target. And my family... What we saw, those manipulations used by the tabloid press were horrendous. It appeared the royals were using the typical gaslighting techniques to destroy the relationship between this young couple. Exactly, exactly what we have been talking about. My family, I love that people are finally opening their eyes to what we've been talking about for a long, long time. The goal has always been to split apart Harry and Meghan. And who benefit from that? William, Charles, Kate, Camilla. Who suffers from that? Archie, Lilibet, Harry, and Megan. One must understand. Harry has a family. Harry has a family. I think people don't play that. Time and time again. Trolls. Don't play that. Time and time again. Harry has a family. And from what we all learned in school. Apparently trolls did not learn this. Is that. My family. When you got married, have a wife, have kids, that's your family. Before my father, you know, passed away, actually, when, after he passed away, there was some money that he left for us in shares for my brother, my sister, my, for, for me, and also for my mom his wife, before he passed away. 
And after he passed away, we got that money. So my family, who were my father's family? My father's family were me, my brother, my sister, my mom. That is your family. When you get married, that is your family. When you get married, that's your family. And even the Bible says it. My family on marriage. I like to read you a scripture from the Bible on marriage, my family. Very, 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 very important. From Matthew chapter 19, verse 5 to 6, said, and I quote, Therefore, a man shall leave his father and his mother and hold fast to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. So they're no longer two, but one flesh. What therefore God has joined together, let not man separate. My family, that is what the amazing Bible says. And my family, Prince Harry, when he got married, when he fell in love with Meghan, got married, they were pregnant with Archie, the fruit of their love. That is Harry's family. You know, why am I saying this right now? I'm saying this because some trolls, tabloids even, have accused Meghan of splitting Harry from his family. I mean, I'm like, seriously? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Harry's family is his wife, Megan, and their two kids, Archie and Lily Bettana. That is Harry's family. And no matter how many times the royal family try to erase Harry's family from history, or even reject Harry's mixed race wife and kids. The fact is that is Harry's true family. That is who Harry owes his loyalty to. Love, respect for his family, his wife, his children. My family. That's his family. The others are his extended family. And Prince Harry said that I left, I fled the UK after seeing with my own two eyes just how the media were going after my wife, Megan. When he saw the abuse and when he pleaded time and time again with members of the royal family to please just protect them, protect his wife, protect Harry from the press, and time and time again, they showed no support for Prince Harry Meghan. However, what they did was they were busy leaking stories against Harry and Meghan. Time and time again, as you all know, the leaks against Harry and Meghan come from one palace. That is William's office. Williams, Kensington Palace, headed by Prince William. And Charles, clearly, because Recently, we have been seeing just how, you know, Charles has been leaking stories against Harry and Meghan from Buckingham Palace, which is now headed by Charles himself. And the goal of it all, my family, is to destroy Harry and Meghan's marriage, to destroy and harm their real relationship. For years, they've been trying to do that, but I'm glad that Harry and Meghan chose each other. Harry and Meghan chose love and said that it is the institution that we are leaving, that we are stepping back from. But my wife and I, our marriage remains intact. We'll fight to defend and protect that. And that is what Harry and Meghan have done. 
for a long time right now, despite all the attacks. So my family, I find encouragement really. When I see more people, more voices speaking about what we have been talking about. How cruelly tabloids want to ruin Archie and Lily's life. And Megan and Harry's life. People are opening their eyes. We have the royal family leaking that Archie and Lilibet are not invited to the coronation, are not invited to the coronation. They are also telling the public, the masses, that hey, look, we are rejecting Harry and Meghan's kids. That is what the farm is doing. My family, and as a man, as a husband, any good man, any good husband, will do what it takes to keep his wife and kids safe because that is his family. My family, that is his family. And I'm happy that Harry has done that for Megan and Megan has done that for Harry. They are full for their love. And truly, their love truly truly wins my family the article reads as the years progressed the gaslighting created appeared to only get worse and we are witnesses to that it's only gotten worse even despite them fleeing from the uk they still haven't stopped going after harry and Meghan. for just under 40 years I worked with survivors of dysfunctional families. Now, several of the survivors also felt backed into a corner after family members were gaslighting them with their friends, co workers, other family members, and also publicly. And that is what we've seen in my family. You know, I want to relate. What I'm bringing to you, to what's happening right now, to Harry and Meghan. We have leaks from friends of William of how if it was his coronation, Archie, Lilibet, Meghan, Harry would not be invited. William's friends are saying that. The royal family leaking through friends that my family, Archie, Lilibet, are not invited to the coronation. That's what they're leaking. Going after kids, innocent kids. It's disgusting what we keep on seeing time and time again. My family, as Vicky Pauline says, it is only getting worse. The royal family continue to gaslight Harry and Meghan, using their friends, co-workers, and other family members, and they're speaking publicly to UK tabloids. This notion of members of the royal family are keeping, maintaining a dignified silence is a whole bunch of made-up lies. You know? Because the royal family has been leaking how they want Harry and Meghan to be seated in Iceland and that members of the royal family do not want to socialize with Harry and Meghan. Where does that come from if not from Prince William, Charles, Kate and Camilla? We are not fools. And Harry told us, he told us that this is what they do. The royal family leaks and plans stories against Harry and Meghan. It is a dirty game. However, the royal family does not like it when Harry and Meghan respond. When Harry and Meghan even make money from responding. They don't like it one bit. They are happy to lie about Harry and Meghan. But they are unhappy. Unhappy. When they see Harry and Meghan respond to their lies, the highest level of hypocrisy. 
if there's an award for hypocrisy, the royal family will most certainly win it. The royal family will win it. Make no mistake about that. Now, my family, now Vicky says that all of the survivors felt the need to clear the air by speaking out. They all shared the need for the public to hear their truth. As it appears, Prince Harry also did. And when Harry talks, we are met with, I thought he wanted privacy. And yet here we have the media abusing them. Using sources from the palace. Palace insider. Palace source. Friends of William and Charles. Time and time again. However, when Harry and Meghan respond, it's like, how dare they talk? They are blasting. They are trashing the royal family. Yet no one complains. No one in the media complains. No one in the tablet complains. When they, the royal family, the farm, William, Charles, Kit Camilla, stand there and watch as tablets bully Harry Meghan. As a royal family, are the ones busy leaking and feeding stories to the press to go after Harry Meghan. The carnival or so-called experts who get scoops from what they call friends of the family, <laughs> whom we know is Charles or William or Kate or Camilla. My family, when that happens, no one accuses William, Kate, Charles, Camilla of trashing Harry Meghan, who are members of the royal family. I mean, they call them much-loved members of the family, right? No one accuses them of that. I call that hypocrisy and constant gaslighting, really. Now, Vicky says that Prince Harry's actions are that of a heroic young man standing up against not only his biological family, but the news media, his country, and the institutions that give his family power just to keep his wife and kids safe. Remember, even in court documents we've heard from Harry, the only thing that he's ever wanted is to keep his wife and kids safe. That's what Harry has always wanted. That is what has always been Harry's goal in everything, to keep his wife and kids safe. How can they be safe in the UK when you have the tabloids constantly in citing hate against Harry and his wife Meghan? You have the former head of counter-terrorism, Neil Basu, saying that Meghan faced real threats in the UK. And of course, Charles has access to those intelligence reports. But despite that, he still decided that Harry and Meghan lose their security. Despite knowing that, my family, he still never lifted a finger to ensure his own son was safe. His son's wife was safe. Or Archie was safe. He never ever lifted a finger. So my family, a man's got to do what a man's got to do. That's the saying. And Harry, a man, a father, did what he needed to do to ensure the safety of his wife and kids. My family, as they continue, Vicky says that as much as many people don't want to believe children of wealthy and also in influential families seldom have a voice. When there's money, politics, and a powerful organization involved, the stakes are the highest to silence them. 
No matter how much planning goes into a survivor speaking out, children from families like Prince Harris often talk about the horrendous repercussions that they experience after going public. Several survivors describe it as if they were going up against the mob itself. And it's true, really, it's true. You know? My family, lives have been lost. Lives have been lost already because of the UK media. Her his own late mother is a victim of the media hounding who lost her life while being chased by Parazi to her death and she was chased to her death and Harry suffered growing up after losing his mom it was a huge hit to Prince Harry a woman that Harry said that you know was everything to him everything to Prince Harry Diana would say I give Harry much more love to compensate for any unfair treatment a mom was always there for her son because she saw how horrendous her own son was being treated even at such a young age. Diana herself was chased to her death. And my family, we have Colin Flack also, who lost her life after the tabloids went after her. She took her own life. People have lost their lives. My family. So this is no joke. This is no game. This is real life. And my family, whatever anyone thinks about Harry Meghan, this machine was going after them to destroy them both. And Harry and Meghan had no choice but to flee and fight for themselves, for their love, while also ensuring that the farm, that powerful machinery of the farm and tabloids don't destroy them both. Because clearly, indeed, they were going up against a mob. Now, Vicky says that individuals, groups and families who partake in gaslighting are playing dangerous mind games to gain control over others. Indeed, very true, very true. We saw what William said. William said on BBC Newsnight that he had psychological control over Prince Harry. When he felt that control was slipping, when he felt that Harry would not join him in abusing Meghan, in abusing Harry's wife, when William stormed in into Nottingham Cottage, where Harry and Meghan stayed, with Harry describing William as very, very angry, with the red mist on his face, anger, till he turned red, while abusing Harry's wife, wanting Harry to agree with him. That Megan was difficult, rude, abrasive. When Harry said that William was parroting the press narrative, look how William responded by physically assaulting Harry. My family, when you feel like your control over someone is lost, when an abuser feels his control over someone is lost, my family, they they lose their minds. They show the entire world that they have never loved you. What they have been doing is abusing you and using you for their own basic needs. And reminding you or telling you that they love you. That is what William did to Prince Harry all his life.
My family, I'm happy that Harry broke away from William. Someone who abused him all of his life. My family broke away from his control. I'm happy about that. Now, Vicky says that these techniques are very similar to that used by dangerous cults leaders. It is a shame, blame game, if a family member tries to leave and or speak out, the abuse only gets worse after the survivor begins to say no to the abuse and is empowered enough to become their own person. Wow. Wow. Do you see why I love this, this piece? Reviewing Harris Memoir's Pair. Do you see why I love it? It speaks the truth. The abuse only gets worse when the survivor, after the survivor, begins to say no to the abuse and is empowered enough to become their own person. And that is what happened to Harry and Meghan. My family, you have instances in Harry's memoir spare where Harry would recount that William put his finger on Meghan's face. Then Meghan said that, kindly take that finger out of my face. Meghan would not put up with William's abuse. Meghan knew her on what? And guess what? The abuser only gets worse when the survivor begins to say no to the abuse and is empowered enough to become their own person. William saw Harry standing up for his wife and himself and he lashed out in anger, physically assaulting Prince Harry. Like the abuser that it truly is. My family, Vicky, says that gaslighting is a form of both emotional and psychological abuse. It is all about power and control. The end goal is to discredit the victim into believing they can't trust their own judgment to the extent that they begin to believe they are losing their mind. As Prince Harry describes in his book Spare. And my family, the term gaslight comes from the play Gaslight, written by Patrick Hamilton back in 1938. And in 1944, the play was the basis for a 1940 film directed by Thorold Dickinson and for George Kakor's 1944 film starring Ingrid Bergman. And the original play tells the story of a manipulative husband who attempts, who attempts to convince his wife she's going insane. He hides and moves various articles in their home. And when she begins to notice, tells her she either lost the items or moved them herself but can't remember. The husband's goal is to secretly increase his own fortune by stealing his wife's inheritances. When she sees the gaslights in her room fading and is led to believe it is not really happening, she starts to question her own sanity. This is basically what Prince Harry and his wife Meghan described. Those who gaslight need to feel they have power and control over the individuals they are targeting. This is often the same technique used by perpetrators in cases of domestic violence. Offenders constantly criticizing, blaming, making verbally abusive statements, intimidation, denial of responsibility, and minimizing abusive behavior, and proclaiming dissatisfaction with a re 
relationship. These actions may be settled at first and gain momentum as time goes by. And those who utilize gas lighting techniques blame the targets for their actions. Offenders are also masters at manipulating others into believing their statements about those they are targeting. And when it comes to conflicts in toxic, dysfunctional families, no one will ever win. The only hope for reunification once the survivor steps away from the toxic environment is if each individual family member agrees to enter into both individual and family therapy with a trained licensed professional. It is suggested that those who have been victimized, victimized not communicate with their offenders alone and only do so in a clinical setting my family. And to repeat that really, it is suggested that those who have been victimized not communicate, speak with their offenders alone and only do so in a clinical setting. My family, we hear so much that Harry should come back to UK alone, speak to William and Charles. My family, every time Harry comes alone, what happens? He gets physically assaulted, he gets attacked by William every single time. Whenever Megan is not around, what happens? William physically assault, attacks his own brother when Megan is not there. My family, no wonder this plot of Harry coming to Charles condition of himself, by himself, my family, it should never ever happen. Never ever happen. It should never happen. I get why people are saying that, you know, Harry just come, you know what, just alone. Megan will not go. Because you'll be abused. I get that. But my family, on one standpoint, you are playing into what the royal family wants to split Harry from Megan and Archie a little bit. That's what they want. And also, you know this for a fact. Every time Harry is not with Megan, he is with other members of the royal family alone. He gets physically assaulted. So it is not wise for Harry to be around William or Charles by himself. And no wonder they have made so much effort to ensure that even when they have meetings, Megan is not present. Their target is not present. Only Harry is present. Why is that, my family? Because time and time again, when Harry is not around Megan, they can attack him, insult him, abuse him. That's what they normally do. So my family, Harry should never have a meeting if Megan is not present. Harry should not be around William or Charles if Megan is not present. Now, Vicky says that Family therapy sessions should only take place after individual family members who have been abusive entered and successfully completed anger management, offender treatment. William needs that. William needs that. All participants really need to want to learn healthy communication skills and how to cope with their thoughts and feelings. For there to be success. The only question. That must be asked. That needs to be asked. Is if the royal family. Is willing to work. On themselves individually. Not only for themselves. Yet. For their entire country. And also. For the. Generations to come. My family. End of the article. I loved this piece so, so much. William, Charles need to work on themselves. William must speak to someone on his anger, on how to manage his anger and temper. 
and he must of the abuse of Harry and Meghan. My family, what did you think about this article, really, my family? I'd like to hear you on this, please. I'm happy that people are opening their eyes. And that brings me great joy, my family. Now tell me your thoughts on this, please. I'd like to hear you on this, please. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and support our ever-growing family on YouTube. God bless Harry, Meghan, Archie, Lily, Diana, and Dora Raglan, and all of you members of the squad at home. Stay tuned to our next video. Love you always and forever. When you're in an abusive environment, it's okay to flee that place. Leave that place. Protect your mental health. Save yourself. Harry and Meghan save themselves and their kids. And may God bless them so, so much. And may they continue to heal from the pain that they have experienced and endured at the hands of the whole family and the tabloids. Stay tuned to our next video. Love you, always and forever. We need more people opening their eyes. My family, we need more people. And I'm happy that people can see what we see on the abuse that Harry and Meghan have endured and are calling it out. Stay tuned to our next video. Hello, members of the Zisco Family TV. First of all, I want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel. We don't take it for granted that you support this channel. I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustices, supporting Prince Harry and Meghan, showing them love. Love will always triumph over evil, and for that I say thank you. Good will always prevail over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community, this amazing community of Zesco Family TV. I love you so much, family, from the bottom of my heart, and I wish you all the best. May you have a great, great day, and I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Leave a comment below, like, and subscribe. Love you, family, always and forever. Sayonara.